Hi, my name is Elliot Veers and today I am going to be bringing you a tech or a technical video. Now the first part of this video is about a new graphics card that I have got from eBuyer. It cost just under £40 so as you can guess it is an entry level graphics card. It's made by XFX and the chipset is from NVIDIA and the model of the graphics card is a GeForce G210 of course um, GeForce is from NVIDIA if you don't know that I should just say now the memory inside is actually 512 megabytes but it is upgradable to a gigabyte of memory if you have a gig or more of DDR2 RAM in your computer. Now, um, I'll let you have a little look around the box. Now, some of the features are, um, Windows 7 support, and that's full support by the way. High definition 180p display support. Microsoft Direct X 10.1 and Shader Model 4.1 support. OpenGL 3.1 support. NVIDIA CUDA technology. NVIDIA Unifined Architecture. OpenCL support. Um, Dual Link HD CP capable and many of the key features. Now, because it is an entry level graphics card, um, it won't play the very latest games on a very high frame rate and a very high resolution, but it will play most, if not the lower end of the games, on a lower frame rate, and it will play things like The Sims 3 and more basic, less intensive games perfectly fine. It more suits the um just a general market who don't play games and may do just a tiny bit of video editing. The main reason I've got it though is because I wanted an affordable graphics card because I'm upgrading to Windows 7 Ultimate 32 bit edition, what I should talk about very soon in the video. Um yeah, so that's the main reason really why I got it. Um, yeah, so it suits me for the price I paid for it. And it is quite powerful for the price really, but I don't need one of these latest cards that can do the very latest games because I'm not a gamer. The most I'll play is probably about Microsoft Flight Simulator X. Um, and even that is found on my old graphic card that was with Windows XP and this is currently now in my computer and my old graphic card is actually in the box but moving on um, I want to say I am grading to Windows 7 Ultimate 32 bit edition because I have been using Windows XP since 2002 um, I do have Windows Vista on my laptop, but I really want to get to Windows 7 for my main computer. So that's why I bought it, and of course my computer is now fully compatible with Windows 7. Um, yes, yeah, so the reason I chose Ultimate Edition is because I could afford it at a reasonable price because I'm a student and I paid just over £50 for the upgrade. To Windows 7 Ultimate 32 bit edition from currently Windows XP Pro 32 bit edition because the um, Windows 7 I only ordered today and it hasn't come yet. But some of the features of Windows 7 are things like Aero Shake, Aero Snap, um, Jump Lists, Home Groups, and various other things. Windows 7 Ultimate and Windows 7 Enterprise also comes with a feature called Direct Access, what sort of replaces and is a lot better than VPN 
that mainly used for like people who want to access their work network at home like um mobile work users but I won't go into that right now because it's a completely separate video and I don't really know a lot about it because I only found out about that today. But yeah, um I won't read all the new features in Windows 7. But um yeah I really want to upgrade to Windows 7 and I am doing now because I've heard good reviews about it and it's really something I want to do. Um, I think it's a lot better than Vista but again I won't go into the reasons why in this video. Um, so I've really sort of hesitated upgrading my computer to Vista so I've skipped upgrading to Vista in the last few years and I'm now going to Windows 7 Ultimate 32 bit edition. Um, yeah, so I won't really keep this video going on for too much longer. If you have any questions, please post a comment in the video. Um, I'll provide a link about my graphics card in the side of the video in the description. Okay, you probably have had enough of watching this video now, so until later, I'll see you later.